you see this a little bit more frequently in the American League because now I'm not saying I don't know I can't look in and be inside Chris Sale's body, but I think if you're a National League pitcher, you're going to think twice before you're going to go out there and start throwing at people because your butt's going to have to go stand in that batter's box an inning or two later. And you see it, and, and I really think, Rich, I played in both leagues, and in the American League, you almost have a free pass to go ahead and throw at somebody because, first of all, unless there are warnings out, you're pretty much going to get away with it. And I think the more seniority you have as a pitcher, the more you're allowed a little bit more borders. Do you know what I'm saying? Like, sure. I, I played with Roger Clemens and Randy Johnson and Kurt Schilling. And if, and if Roger Clemens dusted somebody up and in, and he would do it a lot, you know, there's a, there's a lot of times, you know, the umpire would come out and, and teams would be screaming, you know, should warn them, and that was intentional, and they tend to get away with that a little bit more. I just thought this whole Red Sox thing, it was handled poorly by the Red Sox. If they were going to hit Machado, you hit him, and you don't get three, you don't get four chances to hit him. You get one chance, and if you miss them, you miss them, and it's end of story. They kept this going longer than it should have been. So it's the Red Sox that have done it, not the Orioles. I believe so. If you were to ask me the guilty party, I thought after Rodriguez took three shots and couldn't hit Manny Machado, it's game over. Forget about it. You missed your chance to hit him. So let's just review with Dan Plesak of the MLB Network. The initial slide that started this whole thing you don't think was dirty, right? I don't. Okay. The retaliation on Manny Machado was dirty because the pitcher who had his first cracks at hitting him first took three shots at it, couldn't do it, and the reliever did it. Correct. Okay. The Mookie Mookie Betts hit that happened the following week to continue this whole thing really wasn't intentional from the Orioles. I don't think it was. The sale That's pitch my was, opinion. The sale pitch was absolutely intentional on 100%. part of the Red Sox. Okay. And last night's pitch from Gaussman was unintentional. One hundred percent. Thank you, Dan. It's please. Crazy. <laughs> Can we get Tom Brady factor into this somehow? We're, we're confusing ourselves and we're supposed to be the experts at this, right? Uh, what, so what happens today? What happens tonight, Dan? Your prediction. I don't think anything's going to happen tonight. They should pitch underhanded. Pitch underhanded. Yeah, yeah, you know what? They're going to get a pitcher <laughs> screen, and they're going to like I, – I, I don't anticipate anything happening tonight. I really don't. And I thought the reaction from Sam Holbrook may have been, you know, he was on height alert. He saw the pitch, and maybe, you know, just being in the moment, he didn't really – until he, you know, he ejected him. And I, and I would be willing to bet you that, like – 30 seconds after or a minute after or the next inning, he probably was like, I can't believe I just threw this guy out of a game and he threw a curveball. Right? You know, maybe so, Dan, but uh, I mean, let's just, this is not in a vacuum here of the whole concept of unwritten rules say that curveball means not intent. You, you just pointed out the commissioner called both managers. Right. Joe Torrey, who is the chief of police, essentially, of, of Major League Baseball, called, bo- called both organizations. All of these things is all over MLB Network, all over ESPN, all over my, my, uh, my Twitter feed and my, right. my, my, my app notifications. I'm getting all that stuff. And he's supposed to sit there and point and warn everybody to maybe have tonight be a retaliation night before everyone's warned is really what he's going to do. No, no, but 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 I think Sam Holbrook has to have a lot more common sense. I can tell you this, Rich, if if you ordered me and you were the manager of the Milwaukee Brewers in 1986 and you ordered me like, hey, we have to protect Robin Yount, the first guy that comes up, you've got to hit him. And if I hit him with a curveball, I couldn't even walk into that clubhouse and show my face. Huh. I'm telling you, if you if you are ordered to throw a ball at somebody, there's only you, you don't throw a curveball, you don't throw a slider, you don't throw a changeup, and you don't throw a knuckleball. You throw it as hard. If you throw 94, you throw it 94. There is no curveballs, changeups, knuckleballs, or sliders. And if you hit somebody that you're supposed to hit with one of those pitches, everybody inside that clubhouse will be like, "Really? You hit him with a curveball?" Hmm. I, I'm rich. I am so 100,000% sure that Kevin Gosman, if he was going to hit somebody, there is no way in hell he's hitting him with a curveball. That I can guarantee you. The Rich Eisen Show, weekdays at noon Eastern on Audience. If you like that, download our app. Please, just if, if it's a memory thing, just delete other apps. You don't need those apps. This app. The Rich Eisen Show app, you need that.